So we're on Evergreen, and here is the pipeline corridor that goes behind all the people's homes that live off Old Spanish Trail. We're in the community of Mossville in Calcasieu Parish, which is on the southwest portion of the state of Louisiana. This is a historic community founded in the late 1700s. The property they have passed down from generations to generations. People who ended up in Mossville, their ancestors, not by choice, because but it was throwaway land. It was on the other side of the river. People isolated by the color of their skin. And when the plants came, where did the plants go? They went to Mossville. And as a result of that, the people of Mossville have paid a heavy price. The community here due to exposure from the industrial facilities, has dioxin in their blood at three times the national average. They are also severely impacted as far as health by the emissions that are being released by 14 industrial facilities that totally surround this community. And this is a community that has been targeted by Sasol for a major, major expansion. Now we're in the old Mossville relocation area, which was a result of ethylene dichloride release that contaminated the groundwater. And as we go through the community, you're going to see abandoned streets, blockades on some of the streets, and then you will see monitoring wells, which indicates where the ethylene dichloride is known to be in the groundwater. All we usually get is pushback, particularly from the industry. It's not real, we're doing a great job, we're not causing any of these impacts. So we're in the old part of Mossville and here's one of the residents who has continued to live here. They have a trailer and they have a mailbox. They have dogs and they will have to be negotiated with to relocate them out of here so that Sasol can build their plant. And what they're proposing to do by the major expansion is to do a gas to liquids unit, which will take natural gas and turn it into diesel fuel. Then they also are proposing to add additional ethylene or ethane cracking units to beef up what they already are doing. As a result of this, they're taking over a large footprint that had a lot of community members living on that footprint. So we're coming up on the Kansas City rail line, which is the perimeter of the big Sasol expansion. And this is also the hurricane evacuation route. So there's no way if a train is blocking this crossing can you use the hurricane evacuation route. So the Sasol expansion will come right up to the Rig Maiden Mossville Community Center, and this will remain. We have a swimming pool behind us where the children will come and swim right adjacent to the expansion of the facility. So this is the heart of the community and it will be severely impacted.